Hello, dear traders. Have you heard the latest news? Another crypto exchange was shut down and its fund was arrested. The U.S. Justice Department and Treasury Department have charged BizLato, a Hong Kong-based platform with money laundering and having criminal ties. Its founder, Anatoly Likhkarimov, was taken into U.S. custody. At a press conference on Wednesday, law enforcement officials said they disrupted a busy corner of this criminal ecosystem. We will talk about financial regulators' attempts to regulate the crypto industry a bit later, and now let's get straight to an outlook for the top cryptocurrencies. Global recession concerns are growing in the crypto stock and forex markets, therefore any signs of a slowdown in inflation store up optimism. On January 12, a 0.1% uptick in the US CPI boosted risk assets, including many leading cryptocurrencies, that helped offset losses to some extent that came after the FTX meltdown and the BCG Gemini scandal. They had haunted the crypto industry since November. A week later, on January 18, the US delivered a PPI report that logged a fall in figures and came better than expected. It confirmed the fact that inflation was slowing down. This means that the US Federal Reserve may soon alter its aggressive monetary stance. The greenback was bearish on expectations for a dovish Fed pivot. Therefore, the US dollar index pulled back and fell to 102.4. The greenback is inversely correlated with cryptocurrencies that are priced in US dollars, so digital assets moved up in price. Yesterday, Bitcoin hit its former of high and exceeded the level of 21,500. Since the beginning of the year, its market capitalization added as much as 25%. Over the past week, Bitcoin has gained an impressive 22% and continues strengthening. This is also confirmed by technical indicators. They show that Bitcoin broke through the moving averages with periods of 50, 100 and 200 days. This could be interpreted as a sign of an impending reversal of the long-term downtrend. Over the past seven days, Bitcoin has grown from $17,550 January 12 to $21,420 January 18. Could that be a sign that the bear market has finally bottomed and the new uptrend has begun? There has been enough positive news about the crypto market lately. Moreover, US economic indicators have contributed to a rise in the crypto market. Technical analysis shows that resistance and support for Bitcoin stand at 24,000 and 18,000 respectively. By the way, the price was last seen at the level of 24,000 in August 2022. The crypto fear and greed index will need to return to the greed zone 55 out of 100 to support a Bitcoin return to 25,000. The index last visited the grid zone in March 2022. Although the index is above 50 for the first time since April 22, that is still not enough for steady growth in Bitcoin. In terms of market sentiment, the digital asset is now back in neutral territory. On Wednesday, the index was seen at around 52%. Meanwhile, Ether has gained as much as 30% over the past seven days. The price went up from $1,340 on January 12 and tested the high of $1,595 on January 18. Yesterday, however, Apple fell to $1,595, uh, I'm sorry, and its growth, uh, growth slowed. Therefore, despite a brief increase in value, the coin is unlikely to extend the uptrend. Resistance, however, is seen at the psychological level of $1,600. A strong headwind is blowing towards the crypto market as financial regulators around the world are mulling over how to regulate the industry. Moreover, investors are taken aback by their tax collapse, finance scrutiny and the bit slider founders' arrest. All in all, the existing 
regulatory framework for crypto assets might soon be drastically changed. U.S. and foreign regulators are currently in talks to develop global standards for crypto regulation. The European Parliament will hold a final vote in crypto rules in April 23. Earlier, U.S. Congress created a subcommittee on digital assets. Efforts to ensure sustainability in the blockchain industry were discussed even at the recent World Economic Forum in Davos. Nigel Green, the CEO of the Vera Group, urged the forum delegates to push the authorities of their countries to focus on crypto by acting instead of t talking the talk. Should those in attendance at the web not advance the agenda of crypto regulation as a result of the 23 summit, they will have speculatively failed, he said. Financial regulators will most likely try to enforce the same standards that apply to other financial instruments to digital assets. The fact that crypto was discussed at the World Economic Forum in Davos is not surprising. Digital money has long been part of our everyday life, and the world of cryptography and blockchain is constantly expanding its reach. This has been our weekly roll-up of the crypto market. Stay posted and stay tuned. See you in a week.